everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing fine and you're surviving all the Christmas madness that's going on outside there. I sure do, as I just avoid leaving the house as much as I can during that time. Because I have to admit I'm not the biggest like pre-Christmas time fan, I just don't get in that whole mood. I do get into Christmas when it's actually Christmas, when I'm like, you know, meeting my family, drinking some wine. But other than that, I'm just not that girl. Anyway, as 2018 is coming to an end, it was an intense year if you ask me. I, just as any other YouTuber out there, am planning, you know, best of, worst of 2018 content surrounding, you know, some lessons, some best buys and stuff like that, that I gathered within the year. But as I'm trying to be a real person here, I also figured that it might be interesting and at least entertaining for you if I would share my fashion fails of the year 2018. And this way you can either learn from my mistakes or at least you can have a laugh at my cost. Like literally my cost. Because I spent money for things that didn't work out. I mean obviously nobody is perfect and as much as I try to learn and reflect and improve my shopping behavior and make sure that I make the right decisions when it comes to spending my hard-earned money sometimes bad buys just happen so if you happen to enjoy this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell also feel free to leave me comments below with constructive feedback and let's get into the juiciness so quick disclaimer here a lot of the items that i will mention i don't own anymore because if you follow my channel or if you know me personally you will know that I am quite pragmatic when it comes to buying and selling um, especially expensive items. Once I figured that they don't work for me, I most of the time act very quickly in just getting rid of them, getting some kind of money back to, you know, save it up for something better or whatever. So let's kick this one off with these slides by Saint Laurent. And to be honest, I really didn't expect these to become an actual fashion fail of 2018. Because I was on the hunt for these for ages. They sell out very, very quickly, typically. And I was just too late in the summer. And then I found these in Amsterdam in a huge department store. And they were on sale 40% off. The only problem with these was they are a 39. And they set very snug and very like lengthwise the sole was just the length of my feet and typically with sandals or with slides like these I like to have a little bit more of space like in front of the toes or behind my ankle you know just because it looks better and you don't end up looking like your shoes are too small once your feet move around in these shoes but they didn't have them in a 39 and a half it was like the last piece the last size and since they weren't too small and the price was just so amazing and they were sold out everywhere i still got them and once i had them and i wore them the first time two problems occurred the first one was that i didn't really feel super comfortable thinking of wearing them because of the size issue even if it just was in my head and the second um, problem occurred when i actually wore them out the first time because the inside of my foot just rubbed against like the slide part the leather i mean i have some tricks how to get rid of those rubbings because sometimes the edges of the leather tend to be a little sharp and hard and then i just file them down with my nail file and usually that already helps but in this case it didn't really help and i again figured that maybe the whole size issue might be blamed for that because as i was wearing them i was so self-conscious about the possibility that they might look a little too short that i think i just got too deep into the shoe with my feet and it just rubbed and it was just not that comfortable so i very quickly ended up selling them since i got them for a very good price to begin with i didn't lose a lot of money i think and also since they are quite popular and sold out everywhere every summer i was able to sell them quickly and you know what a lesson learned this was like a typical shopping mistake that i always try to avoid and i should have known better that if something just doesn't fit perfectly even if it's like 40 percent discounted don't buy it my next shopping fail of 2018 was 
this sweater or jumper by Chloe. In general, I love Chloe. I love the aesthetic and the color code and the silhouettes of the brand, even though it's sometimes a little bit more playful that I would describe my personal style. However, I bought this particular sweater on Vestia Collectives and I already saved around 50% of the new price by then because it was pre-loved. And then again, two problems occurred. The first problem was that a lot of these colorful little pom-poms that were like sewn into um, the fabric, they started falling off. So every time that I was sitting in my office, at the end of the day, I had like one or two pom-poms, like colorful little fluffy balls around, lying around me on the floor. So of course that was not a good thing. But the other problem was that I think that mohair was in there and mohair just tends to do that. It was one of these pieces that just tend to lose fluff in general. When I would wear black denim or something to it, these little mohair hairs would like stick to it and Oh my god, I'm so sorry. And I would end up looking like I just like had my cat sitting on my lap for an hour. And that's not a cute look. So again, I ended up selling it on Vestia Collective again. I did lose a little bit of money because with ready to wear, you often lose more money than with shoes or with bags. And also it wasn't like a very iconic, you know, runway piece or something that was very known for that season. It was just like, you know, a random jumper. Uh, so yeah, I lost a little bit of money, but not that much because I didn't pay the full price in store to begin with. And the next fashion fail, I'm not sure if I even have a picture of that, but I would just insert like a regular product picture so you know what product I'm talking about, are the Chloe Harper boots. So again, a Chloe uh, product. I'm sorry, Chloe, I really love what they're doing. And I also love everything about this boot when it comes to the whole look and the design. I absolutely love this whole chunky boot aesthetic and the whole design of that. I love that it's um, a tie-up boot, that it's like snuck around your ankle. I love the fact that you have this bow to tie it up. The only problem that I have with this shoe or that I had with this shoe because I already sold it is the material of the ribbon has a very, very smooth and silky surface. And because of that, if you tie it up, it gets undone once you move and once you like walk in those shoes, the ties come undone. And that's why I wasn't able to actually like tie the ribbon in a cute bow and wear it like that. But I always was forced to, you know, stuff in the loose ends around the around my ankle or inside of the shoe to make sure that my tie doesn't get undone and that I have to tie up my shoes every five meters or something. And that is obviously very, very annoying. And I couldn't even enjoy the look and the design and the purpose of like the design. Um, because of that. So I was quite disappointed when it comes to, you know, the actual um, functionality in that case and I ended up selling them. My next shopping fail of 2018 is a product that I actually own. I will grab it real quick. It's in this box, unfortunately, and it's these sneakers by Celine. So I absolutely love these sneakers. They are super comfortable. They look amazing. I love the color combo. I was in love with these the first time I saw them and then I was actually like able to pick them up this year, although they have been around for a little bit longer. And it's not a bad buy per se in the sense that they don't fit me or they don't fit my style or they don't go with anything in my wardrobe. It's quite the opposite. They are totally my thing and they go with everything. But I'm just not happy about the fact how dirt prone they are. So usually I'm able to take quite good care of my shoes. I like to clean them. I like to protect them with different sprays and stuff like that. I always keep my shoes in their original bags. So I wasn't really concerned about them getting super dirty super quickly. Also, I don't have children or something. I don't run around in like dirty or dusty places all the time. I live in the city, so I wasn't really concerned. I don't know if this is because they are canvas, but even though I sprayed them with a you know, lotus effect, protecting carbon, whatever spray. They just magically love dust and dirt. Every time I wear them, they get some serious stains, 
Sometimes it's on the plastic, yes, but sometimes it's on the canvas itself and that just really hurts my heart because you cannot really clean canvas that much. And I really don't know what I'm doing wrong. I really like them, but because they are so, so prone to dirt, I just end up not wearing them as often as I should or would like to. Even though I'm a huge Celine fan and I do not want to sell them because, you know, these are Phoebe Philo Celine shoes and who knows if they will be produced now since the glorious Eddie Slimani took over. I mean, you know this whole story and don't want to dive into that, don't worry. Yeah, I'm not going to sell them, I will wear them, but Every time I wear them, my heart skips a beat at some point because I just see new stains, new marks, new dust and dirt on them. Even though I really try to protect them with sprays and different other things, but yeah, it is kind of a fashion fail. So that's it for today's video. These were my fashion fails, my shopping fails of the year 2018. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it slightly informative or helpful if you are, you know, currently looking or having your eyes on any of these items. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!